Have you ever wondered how you see with your eyes? Your eye is the smallest major organ in your body, and yet the way your eyesight works is a very complex process. Luckily, your vision can be trained due to its holistic nature so that you can have naturally good eyesight at any age. Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi. In this video, I'll briefly talk about how your eyesight works from a holistic point of view. First, I want to ask you which part of you makes you see? The eyes you say? Of course you see with your eyes, but vision occurs mainly in your brain and mind. The eyes are organs of light, meaning their main function is to bring the light rays in. Just like the main function of your ears is to bring the sound waves in. You have to have your eyes to see, but be able to recognize what you are seeing. You have to have normally functioning brain and the mind interested in seeing. Vision development is a learned process. When babies are born, their eyes bring in the light rays perfectly, but they have to learn to recognize different shapes, objects, colors, mommy and daddy's face, etc. using their memory and experiences. It's true, right? By the same token, vision training for people who haven't wearing glasses or contact lenses is to retrain your visual system to see clearly automatically and unconsciously without the help of your corrective lenses. Next, I'll talk about the physical aspects of your eyesight, then the mental and emotional aspects. How we see physical aspects of your vision. When you open your eyes and if there's any light around you, you see an image. Although we think our eyes give this visual image, that's not the, totally the case. The light rays reflect off an object you see and enter the eye through the cornea, the transparent front part of the eye. The images we see all day are made up of these light rays reflected from the objects or scenes we are looking at. Through the cornea, the light rays arrive at the iris, the colored part of the eye. My iris is dark brown. What's yours? The iris is a flexible diaphragm with a transparent center called the pupil. The pupil, by the way, is not a physical part as it looks. It's just an opening. To adjust the amount of light entering into the eye, the iris contracts and expands, which is controlled by your autonomic nervous system. For example, in dim light, the iris expands, making the pupil larger to bring more light in. In bright light, your iris contracts, making the pupil smaller to bring less light in. When your eye doctor dilates your eye with an eye drop, this makes iris expand, making the pupil larger, causing your eye sensitive to the light. That's why they tell you to wear sunglasses afterwards. Now let's go back to the light rays. After the iris, the light rays pass through the lens, then reach the retina on the back of the eye. Retina is the most complex part of the eye and it's packed with photoreceptor cells called cones and rods. You heard of them, yes? These photoreceptor cells are sensitive to light and turn light into electrical nerve impulse which is transmitted to the brain by the optic nerve back of the eye. That's why the eyes are called the second brain because the eyes are the only organ that connected to the brain directly. The visual cortex, the visual processing center of the brain, then combines the visual information coming in from both eyes, merge them into a single image. This single image goes to the perception center of your brain, where it's analyzed based on what's stored in your memory, past experiences, and imagination, and gives you its interpreted perception with the help of your mind. Next, I'll touch on the mental and emotional aspect of your eyesight. What if I tell you that your mind has a profound influence upon your eyesight? I bet you agree. Vision is much more psychological than physical. In fact, some holistic people say vision is about 10% physical and the rest 90% mental. The physical part of your vision comes from your eyes and the brain. The mental part comes from your mind. 
The brain is composed of about 86 billion nerve cells called neurons and blood vessels and has a definite shape, as you know, which you can touch. The mind, on the other hand, does not have any physical parts and is totally intangible, giving it an infinite amount of power. Your mind is part of the invisible, transcendent world of your thoughts, feelings, attitude, belief, memory, experiences, and imagination. This is where the infinite power of your mind comes in and how fast people can heal their eyesight. It's because your mind, based on your thoughts, feelings, attitude, belief system, and so on, generates vibrational energy, and this energy affects your nervous system. So if you have high vibrational energy, your body functions, including your eyesight, work better. How your vibrational energy affects your eyesight is very fascinating, and yet it's not commonly talked about. Your vibrational energy affects your autonomic nervous system, which in turn controls your involuntary eye muscles. These involuntary eye muscles change the shape of the eyeball to allow us to see objects in all different distances, similar to how the camera works. Our eye muscles lengthen to see near and shorten to see far, and this involuntary eye muscle movement is done automatically and instantaneously without us even thinking about it or being conscious about it. Thus, for you to see well all the time, your mind matters a great deal. Well, what happens if your mind does not want to see? Another interesting aspect of your vision is that your eyes see better if you are interested in seeing. Or pretty slightly differently, your eyes do not see well if your mind does not want to see. If your mind does not want to see certain things happening to you or around you in your life, or don't feel safe to see something, your vision can get blurry. It's sort of self-defense. When you drive in unfamiliar places, you can experience blurred vision. Or you are looking at something in front of you or in the distance, but your mind is full of worries and fear. Even if your eyesight is usually perfect, you could experience blurred vision. Most of us go through some of these negative feelings now and then. However, if these feelings do not go away and stay with you all the time, they get embedded in your subconscious mind and it'll affect your vision, eye health, and body health as well. On the opposite side of this story is also true in that if you keep your attitude and emotion positive and peaceful regardless of your external circumstances, your vision will improve faster and stay that way. In summary, your eyes bring the light rays in and your brain processes and gives you its interpreted perception with the help of your mind. The good news is that you can train your visual system, your eyes, brain, and mind using holistic approaches and improve your eyesight naturally. Isn't that awesome? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.